Taekwondo guy is the one in white pants. And our MMA guy is the one taking that spin kick. Turning push kick, I believe it's called. I never know the names of Taekwondo moves. So this is Coach Lee. Lee Jiaolian. That's our Taekwondo guy just taking a roundhouse kick to the thigh. And our MMA guy, we just call him BK. Don't really want to translate his Chinese nickname. We'll just call him BK. Oof, another pretty hard kick to the thigh. Okay. Our Taekwondo coach trying to kick at the head and then trying to jump knee at the body. That hook looked like it scared Taekwondo guy. Oh, also notice Coach Lee, aka Lee Jolian, he's actually way taller. He's got a reach advantage. So, if he had better boxing, which he doesn't, even though Taekwondo is supposed to be the foot fist way or the foot hands way, the kick fist way, whatever you call it, he would be much more formidable. But look at the ref. Break it up or don't break it up, man. That was really bad refing. So, Taekwondo guys learn to kick out the legs too. Normally, you don't see them kick out the legs too much. There's a airplane or something going by if you hear. Ooh, Taekwondo guy just got his kick checked. I mean, despite the MMA guy being a better puncher, Taekwondo guy is putting on a valiant effort, man. That's why it's good to feature this. How many Taekwondo coaches step into the ring, right? Oh, man, he got countered hard. Oof. Ref, come on, break it up. Break it up. <laughs> they broke it up themselves. They're like, ref's not going to do his job. Oh, that was a double jab. The second jab hit him. Taekwondo guy elects to hug, which is fine. If it's a kickboxing match, which it looks like this is, it's okay to hug. Another um, turning push kick, or whatever it's called. Man, hooks have surprisingly landed. Same with crosses on Taekwondo guy. Oh, Coach Lee has a bad habit of dipping his head a little bit too low. Oof, look at that. Another kick. Oh, another kick. Ouch, 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 ouch. Wow. Again, the ref not breaking it up. Um, I notice. I know what's going on. Um, our Taekwondo guy, he doesn't have a snap to his punch. He's too stiff. That's what's going on. That's why his punches are so awkward. You see a lot of traditional fighters that way. So the second round, ooh. MMA guy has definitely turned it up. Taekwondo guy was trying to headhunt with a kick. Another one. What happened to push kicks? Oof. Ouch. Don't eat any more of those light kicks, Taekwondo guy. Push kick him. I know why he's not push kicking it. He's afraid of getting countered by punches. Oh, this puts you at a very, very tough spot, man. If you can't see that. Oh, Taekwondo guy respond. Oh, that was the best punch combo he's thrown so far. Okay. Man, our MMA guy is headhunting. Look at that. Just stalking him down. Oh, another light kick. Oh, good. Okay. Taekwondo guys, more telegraph punches are still landing. That's where you see MMA guy sort of bobbing his head a little bit, trying to get his head off center line. And, okay, Taekwondo guy connected to the body with a lead roundhouse kick, but wasn't able to capitalize on it. Ugh. Yeah. We've seen this quite a lot. Taekwondo guys, if you just have them punch, they're not the best, but they're okay. And if you just have them kick, but Taekwondo guys never seem to have the ability to connect the punches with the kicks. I don't know why. We've seen so many examples of this. Like, he can kick, he can punch. But he's not able to combo his punches and his kicks. Whereas Muay Thai guys, kickboxers, karate guys, MMA guys, usually they can combo kicks and punches. I just noticed that again, guys. What's going on? Taekwondokas, leave a comment. So, again, the ref not breaking up the clinch. Obviously, the two of them don't really want to fight in the clinch, right? Nobody's plumbing each other, etc. So, a... Um, Kick combo gave up on that kick. 
His hands are going dangerously low. Dangerously low. Oof, his chin is also raising. Taekwondo guy is gassed. Coach Lee just got another roundhouse kicked to his thigh. His legs must be hurting. They add up, right? Maybe the first one. Ooh, he got another one. Still, he's lasted longer than a lot of Taekwondo people. Oh, ow, ow, ow. He's gonna probably get knocked out, man. I don't think it's looking good. So he didn't get knocked out. I was wrong. But I hope you guys can answer my question because I am so confused. We've seen Taekwondo guys able to punch. We've seen Taekwondo guys, of course, able to kick. But somehow when you ask them to put the punches and the kicks together, they're not able to do the foot and the fist. Why? Why can Taekwondo guys, they seem to be able to throw basic punches. They can even throw combos punch-wise. They can even do kicks, lots of kicks. But when you tell them to combine the punches and the kicks, they can't. We've seen multiple examples of that. What is going on? I found this video on one of Douyin's official channels that hosts these competitions. So now that we've found the league, I don't know if they have a YouTube channel, but if they do, I will definitely link it. But if they don't have a YouTube channel, I'll give you guys the keywords on how to find them on Douyin. So now that we have the league, we will have a lot more of these matches. These matches going all the time, which is good. I want this type of pressure testing, right? We all want the type of pressure testing. Talk to you guys soon. And if you guys haven't seen yesterday's video where a Taekwondo coach boxes with someone who came into his dojo, please check that out too. That was a very, very good video. Okay, this is Jerry from Fight Commentary Breakdowns. We will talk soon. By the way, if you guys want to play Katan with me, we can play Katan. Okay, guys, talk to you soon.